so I'm going to be explaining how to upload a PDF onto Google Classroom. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to find your PDF. So if your PDF is coming up in a Dropbox, then make sure you hit this download button and so that downloads it onto your computer. I've reopened it in this tab, so I've already downloaded it and then this is what it looks like. As you can see, it has 299 pages, so you don't want to be sharing everything with your students. So what you do is you go up here and you do file and print, and instead it'll, it'll give you some printer options, but you're going to select the option that says save as PDF. Just as an FYI, I'm doing this in Google Chrome, so if you have different settings, it might be because you're using a different browser. So instead of going pages all, you go to custom. And so I'm gonna, I just wanna share page five with my students. So I just did five dash five, but let's say you wanted to do five through eight. You can extend page numbers as long as you want and it will just download those pages. So then I'm gonna go and hit save and it's saved as the title of the book. Make sure that you edit it so you know where to find it once you're done. So I am saving it as page five. And then I'm gonna pop over to my Google Classroom and a couple of things. So if you share something with your class, that's just an announcement and it's not an assignment. So I found at least, depending on what my students have signed up for, they won't always see that something is due if I just put it in the stream. If I want them to be able to see what something is due, then I'm gonna go over here to classwork and that's where I'm gonna put this assignment. So I create, I'm going to create an assignment for students and then you can title it whatever you want. I will title it page five. Here I would encourage that you have students write in the, that you write in for students all the instructions that you have. Since it's a PDF and many students cannot edit it, they have two options that you could do here. If they have a printer, they could print out the PDF, write it down, and then take a picture of it and resubmit it to you. Or they could open up their own Google Doc, write all the answers in, and then submit it back to you. So the, however you want them to do it, you can, or you might have another way, you can put instructions right there and then go to add and here you're going to go down to file. So um, I'm going to select files from my device and five, page five is right there. So I'm going to go ahead and open that and upload that now. So you can see um, the Google Classroom has some nice features. If you don't wanna assign it for all students, then you could pick which students you're assigning it for. You can write how many points it's worth. And then down here, you can give it a due date and time. You can classify it into topics. And then the other thing that I would say is I try to get ahead of assigning the work and so I don't always want to assign it right when I'm creating it. So I go up to here and I click on schedule and then this allows me to schedule when I want this to pop up into their Google Drive. So this is how you can assign a PDF to students using Google Classroom.